All right, guys, so we made it to Vegas. We just had dinner with a few agents. We're gonna start this week out right here at R4, the International Remax Convention. So much stuff going down, so many good speakers. We're gonna meet so many good people. We're gonna network, we're gonna build our business. We're gonna continue to build those relationships within the organization. And I just can't wait to do this. What's up guys, here we are day one in Vegas with Remax. So I'm about to go get registered and hit the video summit. And then we got the meetup tonight, so looking forward to it. He's gonna be here, bro. What's I just, up, dude, man? Ricky, How Rick. you doing? Ricky. Yeah. What's up, man, Ricky? What's up, bro? What's happening, man? You're a rock star, like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't How you even doing, tell man? you how cool it is to be here. Nice to meet you. I'm How you doing? Hero. Anything, what's I, what's I, anything I can help with? Keep doing what you're doing because yeah. we're Keep putting it out there. I can't stop now. What's that? Full, full detail for your program. Where can you get it? Yeah. ZeroToDiamond.com. Everything is in there. Everything's there. It's a full course, action plan, and then we do live training twice a month. So you're doing all the soul for free? Yeah. So like as soon as like I learned about you and yeah. the relationship to that yeah. that was much more my style. Yeah. Okay guys, what is up? So this was day two in Vegas at the R4. The opening session this morning, Marcus Lamones spoke to us from The Prophet. So didn't really know what to expect exactly, um, but it was it was incredible. I was kind of, kind of got emotional a little bit too, but he really was, he, he came out and he told a story, something that, that nobody really knows about him, um, how he was an orphan, um, he had a, an eating disorder, um, he, he battles depression still to this day, um, and he used that to open us up to him and had people in the audience tell him things that they've never told anybody. He used this as, as an example of how to create relationships and, and how to grow stronger with people. He said that the secret to business is leveling the playing field and opening up so they open up back to you. And what happens is is incredible and it goes back to everything that I say about relationships. And his his last the last few things he said was about how the people that come in come to us as prospects, as leads, as people who need help, they need us more than we know. And we want to help them through whatever the life struggles are of why, what's the bigger why? Uh, that's another thing he talked about was the bigger why of why they want to buy or sell or why they're wanting to do the things they want to do, the same stuff I preach. So it was a pretty incredible uh, session. Damon John's coming tomorrow. Um, from Shark Tank, so that's going to be really exciting. Looking forward to that. I made a lot of really good connections out here. You know, the CEO of Remax. Um, I set up several Zoom sessions for companies all across the country for the next couple months. Um, I'm also talking to a lot of people about speaking at the next convention. Um, tons of podcasts. So all in all, so far, um, been a really incredible thing. All right, we're gonna cut that. I'm the, I'm the first free coach. I don't want any money from the agents. I wanna make money off speeches, books, affiliates, sponsorships, and all that stuff. I wanna teach the agents what I'm doing, and maybe they can take a piece of it and go succeed. That's the whole point. Hey, when I go up there, I want you to come up there and get me, like going across stage, there, the whole thing. Well, how'd you get into that? I just started doing it, man. Just started, I got bored with real estate, because I was doing 100 deals a year. And I was like, I'm kind of bored. What's the end goal? For me? I just keep making, I've done this my whole life. I love making people successful. That's where I get my rocks off. I love it. I have no, my end goal is real simple. Sure. I got plenty of money to retire or do whatever the hell I want. But 
but I just really enjoy watching people come in and like, I love what I see you doing, see. A lot of brokers have an issue with stuff like what Ricky's doing. Shit, I'm his biggest fan. I'm like, I'm behind him 100%. events, bro. It's this shit. I mean, you see, you see how much they love it. I mean, they are fucking loving that shit, dog.